These are all the Avatar comics, but only a few will remain in this top. In this video I will tell you which are for my taste the 5 best Avatar comics, The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra. This is Appa Comics. Before I start, keep in mind that this is my opinion and I would like to hear what is your top in comments. On the other hand the trilogies I'm going to consider them as just one comic although I'm going to highlight which part one think is the best of the three. Finally, I have no way to describe how good these comics are without some spoilers, so be aware that there will indeed be spoilers. Now let's get started. In the number 5 position, we have The Rift. This trilogy came out in 2014 and has Aang and Toph as the main protagonists. Aang tries to revive the festival of Yangchen by heading to Cranefish Town, but they discover that the formerly sacred place now has a huge refinery set up, provoking the wrath of an ancient spirit. I like this trilogy and it's in fifth place because it has some very powerful fights and techniques that we never saw before with this Earth Megazer that Aang uses, it's also the third time we see him in this super powerful Avatar state, the first was in the final chapters of Avatar, the second was in the comics The Promise and lastly here. Another thing I like is that Aang and Toph confront each other because of their different ways of thinking and what I like the most about this comic is that they justify many things that seem a giant leap and very abrupt for the legend of Korra, so definitely, for me it deserves T.O.B. in this place. With respect to which part seems better I would highlight the third. Issue 4 We have The Search the Avatar team embarks on a journey with Azula to answer a question that was posed at the end of the series. Where is Ursa? As things to highlight is the continuity with respect to the animated series, where we are shown a little more of the past of the Brothers of the Fire Nation as well as the relationship that had Ozai and Ursa. Azula is given a second chance to get out again, since she was totally locked up in a mental sanatorium in the series. The drawings follow very faithfully the style of the series as it was in The Promise, that is to say the previous trilogy. The conclusion of the story does not fascinate me but it gives rise to the next appearances of Azula, which fascinates me. If I have to choose one of the three parts one would choose the first one where we see Appa fighting against this wolf spirit, we know the beginnings of Prince Ozai with Ursa and Azula does this totally new technique like Spark. In the number 3 spot we have Smoke and Shadow, a trilogy that continues to focus on the relationship of the Fire Nation brothers. I think the fights in this comic look great, each vignette is beautifully painted and drawn, true to the style of the series but with much more vivid colors. The story itself is more political, we are given facts about the first Fire Lord, as well as ancient spirits. It is the first and only time Zuko uses his dragon fire as well as the first time Azula redirects Zuko's lightning. The conclusion of this story and the thought of the princess give rise to further expansion of the plot of the royal family of the Fire Nation, and this gentleman, is for me what gives rise to the movie of 2025 that hopefully ends this arc as it deserves. If I have to stay with a part one choose the last one. The number 2 position is occupied by the first comic that has a story that really moved me and transmitted exactly the pain felt by the protagonist, the comic is Suki alone and tells us how was the stay of the Kyoshi warrior in the prison of the Boiling Rock. It is a short one shot that shows us how they literally tear the hope of a human being. Despite being a super simple story, which does not have a great continuity and a character that is not given much prominence during the series is a very good comic and I highly recommend it. Before I get to the number 1 position I want to put here, in the 1.5 position, one of these graphic novels that deserves its special mention and that is Lost Adventures. And it is not placed between 1 and 2 by chance, it is here where I would put it. Why? Well dear, it doesn't have incredible stories, they are not even very relevant to the plot, neither does it have art faithful to the series or super new stuff. But, the first time I read them, because yes, it is an anthology of many comics, it gave me the same feeling as watching the original series. 
These stories are divided between books 1, 2, and 3 in the pauses between trips that the main characters had and they tell us some details, like the time that Tof and Bumi faced each other just before the passage of the Comet of Sozin, or a confrontation they had with the Combustion Man on a train. The stories as I say are not super relevant but after having finished watching Avatar, being left with that empty feeling of missing the characters and reading this comic was strongly relieved and it also felt like everything is happening in the same world. What I mean. Sometimes there are things that take some time to get used to happening in the same universe. For example, something like watching Legend of Korra for the first time. You know it's the same world many years later, but it takes a little bit of getting used to. Well in Lost Adventures, at least for me, that didn't happen. I immediately knew where they were at what time of the trip. Anyway, post 1.5 for Lost Adventures. Now the number one spot goes to Azula in the Spirit Temple. This comic as I mentioned is a gem. It shows us Azula as we have never seen her before and helps us understand how her head works, what are the things that lead her to do what she does. The story doesn't have a gigantic continuity. There aren't millions of things that happen that need to be taken into account for future stories but something super interesting does happen and that is that Azula gets honest with herself for a few minutes. This comic is an equivalent to the Zuko Alone episode of Avatar, The Last Airbender. A great internal journey of the character, which in the future is going to have all kinds of repercussions, where we see her touch bottom and get to the deepest part of herself. As I say in the future this could be the beginning of an incredible conclusion, but right now, it goes unnoticed. People, how would you arrange this list? Do you think there are any that should be changed? Thanks for watching the video, and if you enjoy this content and want to give a hand to this bison you can do it just with a like and subscribing, that helps me a lot. Thanks a lot for watching the video and see you next time. Bye.